Welcome back to Brain Bite Size. Have you ever felt like giving more than you're getting in a friendship or a relationship? You might be being taken advantage of, and we're here to help you spot the signs. Stay tuned till the end for a crucial tip on handling these situations. 1. Selective availability. Think about the people in your life. Some are like steady rain, it is always there when needed. But then some seem to have a sixth sense for when they can exploit your kindness. They appear out of thin air, often after long periods of silence, and their sudden return always seems to coincide with the favor they need. For example, a classmate who only remembers you exist when they need notes for a missed lecture, or a colleague who suddenly becomes your best friend as a project deadline looms, seeking your help. This isn't just a coincidence. It's a clear sign of selective availability. These people see relationships as transactions, only engaging when it benefits them. This can leave you feeling used and undervalued, as your interactions are dictated not by genuine connection, but by their needs. But remember, you have the power to recognize this behavior. It's the first step in addressing and rebalancing the dynamics of these relationships, ensuring that your generosity and goodwill are not being exploited. Two, unkept promises. When someone makes a promise, it sets an expectation, an unspoken agreement that they will follow through on their word. But what happens when these promises are repeatedly broken? It can leave you disappointed and undervalued, making it clear that your needs and expectations are not a priority. This pattern is particularly damaging because it affects the immediate situation and erodes the foundation of trust that relationships need to thrive. Over time, this behavior can signal that the person views you not as an equal partner in your relationship, but as someone they can easily deceive without consequence. This dynamic is harmful and often indicative of a deeper pattern of manipulation and exploitation. Three, communication barriers. When you are constantly cautious about what to say around someone, it's a red flag that the relationship may be veering into manipulative territory. This discomfort often stems from an unspoken power imbalance where one party feels dominated or silenced. It becomes especially concerning if you notice that asserting yourself or simply saying no to requests becomes increasingly difficult. This pattern isn't just about being careful with words. It's about someone cultivating an environment where you feel that disagreeing could lead to negative consequences. Such dynamics are harmful because they use fear to control and limit your freedom to express your thoughts and feelings. Recognizing these signs is crucial as they are indicative of a relationship that is not only unhealthy, but potentially emotionally abusive. Four, financial expectations. Let's take a moment to reflect on your outings with friends or dates. When the bill arrives, who consistently reaches for their wallet? If you find that it's always you, assessing whether this has become an expected norm rather than a mutual agreement is important. This scenario isn't just about the occasional coffee or dinner, it includes bigger financial commitments too. You may always be paying for trips, gifts, or even covering for them in tight situations without a second thought from the other side. This pattern can signal a deeper issue beyond mere generosity. It might indicate financial exploitation. When one person always bears the financial burden, it creates an imbalance that can strain the relationship. It's crucial to recognize whether you're voluntarily supporting someone out of kindness or if you've been positioned as the go-to payer because it's expected of you. Addressing this imbalance is about confronting the other person and setting boundaries that ensure fair and reciprocal financial interactions. Five, situational kindness. Have you ever noticed how some people transform when they need a favor? It's like suddenly you're the best friend they never had. Picture this, a colleague who usually doesn't give you the time of day suddenly becoming chatty, or a friend who ignores your calls except when they need help moving. This behavior isn't just inconsistent, it's strategically manipulative. They wield kindness like a tool, using it to achieve their ends rather than as a genuine expression of affection. What's critical to understand here is that these bursts of niceness are often a tactical move designed to coax you into compliance. If someone in your life flips between indifference and friendliness depending on their needs, it's a strong indicator that your relationship might be more transactional than you thought. Six, external warnings. Ever wonder why your friends and family seem overly concerned about certain relationships you're in? It's not because they want to meddle, but because they often have an outsider's perspective. 
that can see past the emotional blinders you might have. When your loved ones start expressing worry, it's important to stop and consider their points of view. They might notice manipulative or toxic behaviors that have become your normal. Their insights could reveal patterns you've overlooked or excused away. This external alarm isn't just casual commentary. It's a protective measure from a place of love and concern for your well-being. Listening to these warnings could be the key to recognizing if you're in an exploitative situation that needs re-evaluating. Taking their observations seriously can help you protect yourself from long-term emotional or psychological harm. Then, lack of appreciation. It's important to consider how often this person acknowledges your efforts. Is gratitude rarely expressed? Or do your generous actions seem to be taken for granted? This lack of recognition can be profoundly hurtful. Continuously giving without receiving thanks can erode your self-worth and skew your perception of the relationship's balance. It may lead you to question the significance of your actions, potentially diminishing your belief in your generosity. When someone fails to appreciate your kindness, it is not just an oversight, it's a clear signal that your relationship might be disproportionately tilted in their favor. This unbalanced dynamic is often used by individuals more interested in what they can gain than building a mutually supportive relationship. Recognizing this pattern is crucial as it often points to a broader issue of being used for your goodwill and resources without adequate reciprocation. If you recognize these signs in your relationships, it might be time to reassess and have a serious conversation. Remember, real relationships are built on mutual respect and reciprocity. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with friends who might need to hear this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.